Hello everyone, this is the LEGO Star Wars Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. This set has 248 pieces, it has too many figures, retailed in the US for $30, and is for ages 7 plus. Let's get on with the minifigures. First figure up here is the pilot of the ship, Anakin Skywalker. Now he has some pretty good torso print with some scarring there some solid leg print. He has a black right hand uh, indicating when his hand got cut off in episode two attack of the clones. He has a really cool like kind of golden metallic shiny um, uh, headpiece there which is nice. He has a very suiting hairpiece there. He has some scarring on the back of his torso as well and an alternate face. Just more of a kind of a smile. Uh, your casual type of face there. My only problem with this figure is the scarring on the torso, the front and back there um, of the torso because it is not accurate to the scene from episode three, Revenge of the Sith. He's supposed to get the scarring on his duel with Obi-Wan Kenobi um, on Mustafar and they didn't even you know clear up that scarring and make it just, you know, a clean robe. They had to keep the scarring there, and I don't know why. It's not accurate to the scene in that bugs several fans. Kids won't really mind it or care, maybe not even notice. But for uh, me and several other adult fans, it's just, you know, it's it doesn't look right. Um, it's not accurate to the scene. So, uh, yeah, on to the next figure. The next figure up here is everyone's favorite droid, R2-D2. He has... You know, it's just kind of your casual R2-D2, nothing too special about him. No printing on the back, but really solid head printing all around. It is all printed around the entire head. And some good, like, I guess, chest or body uh, printing there. No printing on the legs. It's never had printing on the legs as far as I know. And the line here, as you can see, has a bit of an arc there. It's not supposed to have that. See how it's like high up here and kind of low down here? That's sort of a misprint. Several R2-D2 or astromech droids in general do have that type of flaw which bothers me. You can kind of see it on the face there as well. It's high up here and low down here. It, it just, it does, it's not printed to the best it can be. Uh, I have other R2-D2 that has the correct printing but several of them, I've seen several reviews of R2-D2s that have this sort of misprint there. That's a little disappointing. I wish Lego could get that fixed. But, um, you know, just your typical R2-D2 figure nonetheless. On to the Interceptor itself. I actually think it is such an improvement between the last two designs. It looks really, really, really well, especially for a uh, pretty cheap price at 30 bucks. Um, I would say with the landing here, I wish this was down. I wish these would stay down. You see how they kind of fold when you place it down. I don't like that. Um, so I wish I wish it was kind of like a stand or something for it. Because they're supposed to be folded like that. Um, this is a printed piece here. The rest of the cockpit is also printed. And there's a mechanism on the back that allows you to open the cockpit here. And you can just kind of get your figure. Fold his legs there. Place him in. Put his head back and shut the cockpit and there you go he's in there there's also a little slot here for your r2d2 he just clips on to some little little studs um, now if you flip them over i'm going to fold these down if you flip them over uh the underside is all right it looks okay um you see r2 if i'm sure you can see him uh r2 there uh, that bugs me a little bit, but I mean it's not too bad. You're not going to look at it from the other side, under underside, uh, very much at all. So I think oh that's that was really bad. Sorry guys, uh, it wasn't focused up there. Um, as I was saying, you don't really look uh, under the underside very much at all, and I like how it is symmetrical and it shows the hole here, like it has the hole there as well as for R2-D2 there. So that's a really nice design that kind of like cancels that out in a way and makes it symmetrical and makes it kind of make sense. Um, another thing is on, on the underside here, there are a couple of clips wherever they are. Oh yeah, here they are. They are actually under these flaps here which have stickers on them. 
and you can hold Anakin's uh, lightsaber, which I didn't show in the figures, that's my bad, um, but that's where it is. And really nice stickers here um, on all four of these. And I wish they were on the outside, but they're supposed to be on the inside. Um, but I think it would look better on the outside. It is more accurate on the inside, however. And uh, that's my thoughts on the build. Let's give my overall thoughts on the set as a whole. I think if you're buying it for the build, you will not be disappointed. I think the build is a really, really nice build. There's not many things that are wrong with it besides the flaps here. Sorry, besides the flaps here. I wish the bottom flaps here wouldn't kind of collapse uh, down, but that's just due to the weight of the thing and gravity. Um, I wish under here, uh, this piece, you didn't see R2's legs. Um, and I wish this piece here, this is actually a sticker, believe it or not. It's not a printed piece. On the previous 2014 model, there was a printed piece here. Uh, these stickers, uh, or these uh, are also stickers as well. Not too many stickers. This one is a sticker, however, I kind of wish it was printed like it was in the 2014 model. It's not that big of a deal though. Uh, the figures, R2-D2, if you don't have an R2-D2 and you've been collecting Star Wars Legos, I don't know what to tell you, so it's not very really new to you. And that Anakin figure is disappointing to me uh, because of the torso print. I wish it had just regular torso print and didn't have all the scarring on there. That is disappointing. But if you're buying it for the build, you won't be disappointed by the build. And all right, so those are my overall thoughts on the set. Uh, if I could ask you guys to both like, comment, and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated, and that would be awesome to help grow this channel. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.